ever stared at one of these tiny checkerboards, squinting, poking your phone at it, wondering if it's a secret message from aliens or just a really tiny game of digital checkers? You're not alone. These things are everywhere. These aren't your grandpa's barcodes that just tell you the price of a Duff beer. Nope. These are QR codes, the super spy information-packed cousins. From menus to tickets, they've taken over. But how do they actually work? At its heart, a QR code is just a grid. Think of it like a tiny Springfield. But instead of houses, it's made of thousands of tiny black and white blocks. Each block is called a module. See those three big distinct squares in the corners? Those are the finder patterns. They're like GPS for your phone, shouting, hey, I'm here, and I'm a QR code, this way up. No matter how you hold your phone, those patterns help it orient itself. Then there are the smaller ones, the alignment and timing patterns. These are the OCD patterns, making sure your phone knows exactly which way is up, how big each square is, and that everything's perfectly aligned, like Marge trying to straighten a wonky picture on the wall. Now, for the actual tiny black and white squares, those are the data modules. Each little square, whether black or white, is basically a tiny yes or no vote, a one or a zero. Your phone reads this binary code, which can represent letters, numbers, URLs, or even that secret recipe for crusty burgers. But what if a little bit of your crusty burger ketchup gets on it, or you accidentally fold it? No problem. QR codes are like that friend who tells you a story, then tells it again, just in case you missed a bit. It's got built-in error correction, so it can still figure out the message even if up to 30% of it is damaged. So your phone's camera, like a super speedy brain, snaps a pic, understands the orientation, reads all those ones and zeros, uses its magic error correction, and then boom, instantly you're at a website, have a ticket, or downloading a new prank app from BART.